For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that RHEL 8 new file system called Stratus. Stratus file system is a new file system to avoid maintenance overhead so basically whenever you create a basically standard partitions or lvm partitions or um, brtfs or zfs any file systems so which need to be um, increased e example say that lvm is full so you have to add some space to the lvm and uh, resize the file system all this stuff but here status file system is like a um, just like you create a pool and in that create the file system and then the maintenance overhead like uh, bringing up the application down and increase the file system all the stuff which is not required and status so um, how it works so let's see this uh, over here like share comment and subscribe so so this is what is status fs status fs is a local storage solution that lets multiple logical file systems share a pool of storage that is allocated from one or more block devices you can see sir this is a diagram which is called as a name the below one so black device one two three so which is black device in a sense a physical hard disk example so disk 1 disk 2 disk 3 which are uh, called as a name data tier so which is called as a data tier now combining all this data tier like the combining all these black devices which is called as a name, status storage pool so in this status storage pool you can also create a cache cache version and uh, caching can be increased your performance like whenever you want to write some data to you here the cache can be made using the uh, ssd drives or the faster drives which makes you more uh, performance wise more uh, powerful so top of that you can create the file systems like file system 1 file system 2 file system 3 so in this uh, data tier you can create a number of storage pools okay instead of an a entirely in kernel approach like zfs or brtfs status uses in a hybrid user slash kernel approach that builds upon existing black capabilities like device mapper so whenever you use these black devices it uses a lot of device mappers in the background so existing file system capabilities like xfs and the user space demand for the monitoring and control so always the user space demand monitoring will be on uh, in the background it should be running otherwise it won't monitor the status file system so this is the basically the outline of it how it makes so these black devices combining this is called as an a data tier here making adding this all black devices together which is called as a status storage pool in the status storage pool you can create the cage pool and status storage pool top of it you can create the file systems this file system just like an folders so just like in a folders you can just create a folder and just like the folder creation so i can say simply so here status file system advantages so these are, are not all yet available on this version 1.0.3 the current version but these are the features which are going to come into the status file system so the flexibility which is going to be more flexible and integrity so the data integrity in the sense the most data integrity um, in this status file system and scalability like growing the file system like it does not currently do not have any limitations uh, right now the status file system it can support until petabytes uh, encryption so the encryption is also not in place um, but it comes in the next versions improved performance with caching tier so that's what the storage pool in storage pool you can cre create a caching tier which can improve improve your performance and data redundancy like raid 1 raid 5 raid 6 and raid 10 will be supported in the status file system so the redundancy is 
capable of the status file system thin provisioning which will be save lot of data if you go with uh, thin provisioning in case of duplicate duplicates are going to be also supported and thin provisioning like what are the data sizes used on the actual disk that can be shown as an, a file system utilization so here they are going to give you a great, great um, thing is that d bus api so which gives you more flexibility in case of if you want to integrate this status file system with the containers or with the um, lvm sorry uh, with the virtual machines so that it can be expandable like whenever the virtual machine space is growing so which can be expandable automatically so that the containers or the virtual machines won't stop performing so that's what the the great feature about the dbus api so which gives more flexibility and integration supports large number of lag devices so there is no as of now numbers did they did not given on any of the official site or anywhere but they say that it supports large number of black devices and uh, total the power of 24 file system per pool you can create so imagine like if you create a single pool in that this many file systems you can create which is almost uh, 16 millions that what that what's the file systems you can create over here the next one a little bit disadvantage or maybe improvements required on this um, status file system is that whenever you type the df command it, the output is not useful in case it does not show actually status uh, file system usage it just show the uh, different one so that does not make sense sometimes user may confuse uh, status does not like reformatting the file system again and again so as a status file system they say that do not reformat and reformat so that's what they say on the website as well so the status does not like reformatting of the file systems uh, uses uh, many device mappers devices in background so that may be a advantage maybe in a disadvantages but if you see in a dm setup so it gives you a lot of device mapper devices if you use status poles um, status require a user space demand always running so maybe it is an advantage or disadvantage anyway some of the demand should be running uh, always so that the file system will be up and running so the next one is the development roadmap so which are the features is going to come in version 2 so remove an existing black device example say that you have created a storage pool in that you have added the black devices but sometimes if you want to remove the faulty device and add new device or if you want to remind some of the uh, devices black devices from the pool so that's what the version 2 is going to be uh, come with and the redundancy level raid 1 raid 5 raid 6 and raid 10 is going to be supported in version 2 and cage redundancies in the sense the cage is also come with a redundancy in case of cage failure the performance will be uh, impacted so that that also you can create a redundancy on cage itself and uh, write through caching enabled so this is the feature is going to come and the quotas so there is no quotas as of now on the one version one but quotas is also going to come and black device resize so which may be sometimes um, in black device if you use a 50 percent of the black device for uh, storage pool if you want to expand that black size you can do that on a version 2 uh, space like which is a more uh, important like whenever you add a one black device which is just like in a spare sometimes one disk failed the data will be dumped to the spare and use it so that's the another feature which is going to come on to version 2 another one is uh, version 3 the send and receive um, things and the integrity checking red scrap compression encryption and deduplication rate write log these are the version 3 is going to come in the roadmap and uh, 4 version 4 which is going to come like uh, change a pool redundancy level whenever you have a pool which is created with rate 1 if you want to change that redundancy level to rate 5 maybe that can be supported on rate 4 uh, i'm not sure how it's going to be but they said in the 
roadmap which is going to come in version 4 and boot from a file system so if this comes most of the like lvm stuff and other stuff which may go off like uh, of course not immediately but it would be a boot from the file system with the status so that maybe give you a lot more flexibility and uh, lip storage management integration multiplot integration so the multiplot will be very very useful in case if you present the lens from the storage so that that makes sense uh, tag based black device and fs classification so here there is no classifications as of now this is one pool or this is second pool something like that so going forward tag based black device you tag the bl mm, black device so which is classified data something like that and mirroring across the partition with pool so this makes uh, like the dr site and dc site something like mirroring the across the partitions within the pool so which has a redundant file systems on the single pool so that's what the version 4 is going to come support for byte addressable persistent memory so that is the one more future which is going to come on development roadmap so next we are going to see that um, status installation and configuration uh, practical so so right now um, i am into the command line interface here first of all we have to install this uh, status um, d demand and status cli utility so the status cli utilities which uses uh, dbus apis to uh, run on the cli let's see this m install status d and uh, status cli which are the packages required for status so the status is developed on python so that's why the python dependent packages will be installed and the status is written on rust language so now the package is installed let's start uh, enable the status d and system ctl start status d and let's verify the status so status file system is running fine so now uh, let's verify do we have any black devices over here uh, which may we may require uh, device to create the status pools so here i have a uh, sdc and sdb so sdb is 20 gb and sdc is 10 gb so we are going to create some pool on this black device and later we add this extend that pool using this 10 gb let's see this okay now in order to do that so first of all we have to go with uh, status pool create so the pool name uh, i say that um, data pool okay slash dev slash sd b sdb is the one so which we are going to use status pool so status pool is created now you can see status pool list which is going to show you that the status data pool is created with 20 gb in size and uh, 5 to 12 megabytes uh, has been used for initial file system okay now top of this we are going to create the file system uh, status file system create and we have to give the pool name the pool name called data pool and uh, file system name so fs01 i'm just going to give so now file system has been created and you can uh, see that status file system list which is going to give you the file system list over here you can see this data pool and fs01 is the name and initial file system is used by five 
46 megabytes and here the device path is um, slat is more here uh, let's see um, my fs01 and mount you can use this like this and you can go ahead and see this uh, the device mapper which is used to mount this one my fs01 okay now we can also create one more file system maybe um, let's again pull say that i would like to create fs02 status file system list you can see that there are two file system has been created over here data pool fs01 and data pool fs02 so like this you can create a number of file systems on the single storage pool uh, and you can mount them so which does not require any file system to be uh, formatted with you can simply mount it example say that uh, i would like to create uh, fs02 and mount and slash fs02 and you can see that there are two mount points which are mounted to the status file system so status pool list you can see this this is the pool status black device list you can see that data pool name and black device name and its physical size in use and uh, tier is data tier okay like this you can create the pools and uh, uh, file systems and if you want to expand the pool example say that if you want to add some of the uh, disks to it so you can add it example say uh, status pool and add data and say pool name so what is the pool name here the pool name is this one and now you have to go slash dvsdb sdc is the one next one so i'm just going to increase it and now i'm just going to see this black list uh, black device list status black device list you can see this there are two devices in the pool now you can go ahead and see status pool list which is going to be size is 30 gb so just like you can increase the size and you can uh, uh, decrease the size you can remove the black device but which is not available currently um, maybe you have to lose the data in case of if you want to remove the black device so in case if you want to rename this uh, uh, pool name later point of time so you can also use the uh, rename option and you can provide the pool name so the pool name is i just used data pool but i wanted to change this to the um, fs pool something like this you can use it status and pool list you can see that the pool name is changed from data pool to fs pool so like this you can rename the pool and if you want to add the cage to that pool example say if you have some ssds you want to make some cage you can also use uh, status pool add cache and say um, cache pool name the say like uh, cache pool and you have to provide the device name so currently i do not have any device uh, i have only two disks on this vm so i have only added two so that's why uh, i could not able to demonstrate this uh, cache one so that's that's what it is and uh, status if you want to uh, destroy the file systems you can also use uh, status file system destroy and uh, pool name you have to use and uh, which file system you would like to uh, destroy it but before that you have to unmount it you mount slash fs02 and now status file system destroy fs pool and fs02 so now if you go to the file system list you can see that there is only one file system exists 
so another file system is gone so now you can see that the file system size currently which is um, 500 MB but if you want to copy some data over there and see that how the file system uh, grows okay so I'm just going to slash MNT over here and I have uh, I would like to copy this uh, uh, base OES directory to slash my fs01 so now let's see that which is uh, completed the uh, copy of it and the uh, status file system list you can see this the file system has been used uh, 1.4 gb over here you can uh, maybe go to the status um, pull list you can also see over here the usage so 1.4 gb has been used out of uh, 30 gb so just like that uh, you can use it data tier on top of that the storage pool uh, status storage pool top of that you can create a number of file systems and uh, dump the data over there so uh, if you want to mount this uh, status file system permanently using the fs tab so you can also use um, a blk id over here and say grab this uuid from here uh, let's say this is my status pool and uh, capture this uuid from here and the type is xfs remember and slash etc fs tab so here you can mount the device permanently so you can add like this and the file system is xfs sorry mount point you have to give my fs01 and the file system is xfs defaults zero space zero like this you can mount it otherwise you can also use like this the complete path of uh, the pool like this you can also mount it like this also you can use otherwise the better way you can use uuid on the fs tab instead of uh, this over here you can simply make a uid that would be more flexible and perfect and you can use sorry that side so you can see you can unmount maybe my fs01 and mount iphone a sorry mount iphone a and you can see that the mount is back to mounted like this you can use the status pool and create the file systems and rename the file systems and uh, um you can use the pools and destroy the pools so something like that but here the cool feature is that you can create the uh, file system snapshots as well example say that i'm just going to create one more file system uh, status file system the file system i'm just going to create the new one um i'm thinking file system create uh, new sorry fs pool and uh, new fs i say okay now status file system list you can see that there are two file systems created now i'm just going to mount this one this file system to slash fs02 so here and i'm going to f02 and create some files touch uh, testing maybe i say 1 to 10 dot txt files so 10 files has been created out of this i'm just going to edit the ninth one and I'm, I'm just going to add this is the tech arkit youtube channel let's say I have created some text file over here and uh, unmount that fs02 now i'm just going to create that status um, file system snapshot which is exactly as a file system so how much um, file system it 
new fs and the snapshot name here i'm just going to create a snapshot fs okay so now we're just going to create the snapshot but if you look at up the file system list which similarly same looks like the uh, file system so it does not make any difference in between the or uh, distinguish between the file system and the snapshots that's what it is on the current status file system let's see this uh, the snapshot is creating so the snapshot has been created and see status file system list you can see this the snapshot fs has been created over here which is similar to this one okay let's mount it and see so what is there in this this fs02 and go to fs slash fs02 and see this okay and see the content of uh, okay so this is the exactly similar as the file system snapshot so how much is the file system and the snapshot is also is similar okay and uh, you can do a renaming and all the stuff and if you want to use a redundancy but the redundancy does not work by default we uh, which is not introduced in this and if you want to see a uh, status um, version that is demand version is the one you can see that and uh, redundancy in case of if you want to check it up uh, what is the redundancy of that currently so there is no redundancy exist so this is about the status file system creating the pools and uh, adding the file systems and expanding the storage pools uh, and mounting it to the fs tab all the stuff that's about it guys thanks for watching stay tuned Please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses. Please follow us on social networking sites. If you have any technical related questions, you can ask.